Spring La Fay, Simply Tara. Okay, Aquarius, this is for you. I have got a couple flies, so just look over them if they zoom by. There they are buzzing around. Um, I'm going to use the Crow Deck, and I have pre-shuffled, so we're going to pretty much get into the reading. Three. Okay. For Aquarius. Looky there. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. That's Ten of Cups. Home. Family. Happiness. Um, true love, you know. True love can be so much. I mean, this could be for those of you that want, you know, a new relationship. This could be for those of you that has already got the one. This could be for those of you that aren't looking for a romantic relationship. But this has got to do with family or friends. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. I feel like this has a lot to do with balance. Um, I feel like someone is, um, for one, someone's manifesting. They're manifesting what they want. Now, the thing is, is I'm getting act as if. So, maybe you feel like you don't have enough. Maybe um, you, you need to really look at that, though. You know, this is about change. Change blowing in. You know, uh, fives are about change. But it can be profound change. You know, I'm really drawn to how the water is swirling. Um, profound change happening. Another five. I'm telling you, somebody's about to have some profound change. Um, hmm. Whatever this is, it can leave someone looking back. Looking back. The moon. Not understanding what has happened. Um, looking back at a past relationship and not understanding why. Why did something go the way it went? Now, um, that's for some of you. For some of you, I feel like this could be actually a relationship that's strengthening because someone looks back at what what has happened in the relationship and it's like they start to see things a lot differently. You know, the moon card can be not seeing things clearly, but it feels like they start to see things clearly. And it's like a relationship grows closer together. Two of Swords, you know, um, this, it's like someone's going to be in a crossroads. They're going to have to make a choice. They're going to have to make a choice. This could be a choice between two. If you look here, we have two in the nest, two on the limb. This could be a choice between two. It very well could be. Yep. Someone could have someone from the past coming back around. Now, this doesn't have to be from the past coming back around, though. Um, I feel like someone, I'm going to be honest with you, someone out there is, it's like they're, you know, someone, someone's double dipping. There you go. Someone is entertaining a third party situation. That's not going to be for everyone, so don't, you know, don't jump the gun. And, you know, if you don't have anything else pointing to it, yeah, it's probably not for you. Um, some, some of you, someone's coming back around. Uh, there's going to be a decision that's going to have to be made. Uh, maybe you already have someone, or maybe they do, and, you know, page of wands. There's going to be some form of communication coming in. Get ready for it. 
the fall. You know, <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, this could be a new beautiful beginning with the full card. It could be taking a leap of faith, but it could also be being foolish. So you really got to follow your intuition on your choices. Um, someone's coming into your life. For some of you, this is someone that is from the past. For some of you, this is someone new, you know, and um, maybe you've been going through a rough time, you know. But for some of you, this could be within your own relationship that you're already within. It's like, you know, getting some news about something. And for someone, it, for someone it's about a third-party situation. And really, someone's looking at themselves as... How could I be foolish? Um, now, someone else, it feels like, is wanting to take a leap of faith towards trusting their person and believing that, you know, what they tell them is the truth and that they've changed. This is going to be so different for so many different people. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Strength. Strength is here because it's needed. Um, you know, to make these decisions, strength is here because it's, it's needed. I mean, honestly, someone, um, someone, you know, they've been dealing with some deceit as well and, you know, it could be lies, whatever, but someone's going to be leaving. Someone's going to walk away. Um, that's not for everyone, but someone's had enough. They're leaving a situation. They're leaving someone behind because it's like they've been watching what's happening and they can't take it. They know what's been happening. And they're just done. So someone's been dealing with someone that's double dipping. Yeah. They've been double dipping. That's exactly it. Yeah. Okay. Um, Four of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. So this can go so many different ways. You know, this could end with this movement away. And you could have a beautiful new beginning on your own. Um, this could come to light and help, help two people to grow closer together. I'm just going to tell you like I'm getting it. Um, it's all according to you and what you choose, basically. Now, for some of you, like I said... You know, for somebody, I, t I feel like this is just somebody new coming to your life, and they're dealing with this crap, you know. And, um, you know, I feel like you're going to have to choose what do you want in your life, what do you not want in your life. Because it's like you've got this peace in your life right here, and you've got a lot of love to offer. Um, you know, what do you want? It's that type of feeling. What do you want? Well, there you go. Queen of Swords. If you don't like something, cut it away. You're taking on the Queen of Swords energy. If you don't like it, you're going to cut it out anyhow. Um, Six of Cups on the bottom. This could be a soulmate connection. Wow. That you're dealing with. See, you could become single. And then the soulmate could come along. It's just, you're going to have to feel this. You're going to have to get, you know, in your intuition, follow it and feel it. Now that's, I'm just being honest with you. This is a an iffy sort of type of thing here. Because it's got a feeling like someone been double dipping. And, um, yeah, yeah. Not for everyone. But that's what I've got. Oh my goodness, allergies. They're terrible. Oh, excuse me. Must me. Um, give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry about that. Um, yeah, no extended on this. I'm not feeling it, but much light and love to you. I appreciate each and every one of you. Till next time. Bye.